Hola, Scorpio, Sun, Pisces, Moons. Welcome to your 2025 Sun, Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2024 Sun, Moon readings that are still on my playlist and see if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun, Moon combination, pull main cards for the first half of the year and take a quick look at your 2025. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of your year in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of advice. So Scorpio, Sun, Pisces, Moons, F around and find out with this combination because if someone treats you badly, you will come back with a vengeance. You're very susceptible to stress in your environment, so try to maintain peace and balance of your emotions whenever possible. You are freedom-loving freedom creative beings who often follow of spiritual or artistic pursuits. Your intuition is supreme and you can literally see right through people and their intentions. People, when it comes to love, need to be genuine. You don't have any time for blowhards or people who are tryhards. Nothing will tip off your mistrust more than these actions. You will guard your feelings supremely in fear of being hurt. This is a difficult combination to earn implicit trust. When they do enter the labyrinth, one can only hope they are well armed for your ever-changing moods. In your career, you will have a difficulty deciding what direction you will go. You tend to wander and touch on many possibilities before you fully invest. Whatever it is needs to appear, appeal to your sense of creativity, exploration, freedom, and variety. Once you have committed, you dig in and do well in helping others through a variety of health and spiritual work. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Cats Universe, can you please write a truth, wisdom, clarity, and insight for Scorpio, Sun, Pisces, Moons for the year 2025? What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, we come closer to universe and closer to the divine. What do you see for January and February? We have the full card in the reversed. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. March and April, we have the Ace of Swords in the reversed. And what do we have for May and June for Scorpio, Sun, Pisces, Moons? We have the Tower card in the upright. Okay. So usually when it's something like this, I tell people to uh, hope for the best, plan for the worst, and use your free will moving forward. Um, because in getting a reading, you're privy to information you would normally would not be. Um, so the, the whole way this works is that you use that information to, you know, think about what you're going to do and then you can change things. This isn't absolutely your destiny. Obviously, if you have a heads up and something's coming down the pike, you have your free will to change things, right? Um, so as it appears right now in January and February, what I'm seeing is a very foolish decision being made. So I want you to exercise a lot of caution in January and February. I think you're going to just go running into something without putting a lot of thought into it. I think it's going to be, you aren't looking before you leap, um, things of that nature. And I think what's going to happen is it's going to end up kicking you in the butt. So try not to be naive, try not to be taken advantage of, try not to um, be reckless or anything in that regard. You really want to be aware of a situation you're getting into because the Ace of Swords in March and April tells me that once you enter into it, you're not knowing what to do. You're confused. You're doubting yourself. You can't see a clear way forward. Um, there may be dishonesty involved. Sometimes that in is included with the Ace of Wands in reverse, um, but it, it's just it's just not knowing where you're going, um, not very being very clear and being very confused. So I think this is where it starts to come in and be very chaotic. And you might start having an indication that you made a wrong decision. Because in April, I mean, May and June, the tarot card in the upright is really not one of the best cards in the tarot. It's typically when there's a disaster, an upheaval, something very shocking, something that literally rocks your foundation and the tower must fall. So, um, and it, it's, it's something that cannot be avoided. Typically when it happens, it happens. You can try to hold it together as much as you can. Um, you'll hear me say this over and over again. Again, with a tower card to give you a visual, it's kind of like if we're building a sandcastle on the beach and one side starts to fall, so we try to brace it. And then because of that, the other side starts to fall, so we're holding onto it with both hands. And then like a wave comes up and just takes it all out. So we have no choice but to rebuild. So it's almost as though 
whatever this is needs to wash away and needs to re, uh, be rebuilt because it was, wasn't was good from the beginning. It had a rocky foundation. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on your Vimeo link below for the second portion of this reading. I will take a quick, I mean, take a look at the rest of your year, pull clarifiers on everything and have a card of advice for you for 2025. Also check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings. They're in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. And then finally, if you could look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Scorpio, Sun, Pisces, and Moons, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.